Yeah, as we started our work in 2021 um, to figure out, you know, what inequities existed in our members, what we did was we took a look at the CMS star ratings. There's about 40 different quality measures, and we broke them down by race to see how we were performing. And we have been a four and a half star plan for six years in a row, but when we took a look at how we were by race, we weren't a four and a half star plan. Uh, what we noticed was that overall our quality was lower for our black members. We weren't meeting their needs. We also saw in medication adherence uh, a significantly lower percentage of our members that were Hispanic and black being um, non-adherent. And um, we also saw on survey measures that our Asian and black members rated us lower than other members. Yeah, so I kind of talked about we saw a lot of um, disparities in our data and we thought to ourselves we don't want to boil the ocean and focus on every disparity that we saw but let's start somewhere let's learn what could work um, and how to make it better and so we chose medication adherence um, and we tied it to executive compensation so that everyone in the organization was aligned that this was a top priority um, you know if someone is not able to take their medications they're probably ma not managing their diabetes or their high blood pressure or cholesterol we thought if we start there and get them adhering to their medications, it would lead to good things. And so that's where we focused and, and really tied it, tying it to executive compensation really paved the way for the organization then to align and do some meaningful changes. So as we were talking with our uh, black and Hispanic members to really understand why they weren't adhering to their medications and what challenges they were facing, um, we heard about four different things um, that we needed to really help them more so with. Um, first was our black members, they were saying that they really didn't have trust with their healthcare provider. They didn't uh, feel heard or listened to when they were engaging in the healthcare delivery system. So we knew that as we were trying to um, help them with their medications, we needed to build trust. And listening, um, because they felt unheard, was going to be an important piece. Um, our Hispanic members actually told us quite a bit that if they can't communicate about their health in their native language, um, they don't tell us as much about what's going on. And likewise, they said, if we are not sharing what to do in their native language, um, they don't get what they need to do to take care of their health. And so um, that, you know, in language, cultural and linguistical is, is important. That's what we heard from them. Um, we also heard that sometimes when they're not taking their medications, it's just a lack of understanding of their condition and the importance of taking the medication. Um, so those were probably three key learnings that we knew we needed to do better at. Yeah, so I think on the language side, um, it's, it's easier to understand, right? Um, if someone is speaking the, the language that you are familiar with, you're more likely to understand how to take care of your health and what they're telling you. Um, on the cultural side, what we found was that if someone can relate to you better and understand you better um, because they share the same background, um, in this case, you know, whether if, if, if I'm black and I'm speaking to one of my black members, I, you know, I have deeper insights. Um, and we found when we did that, it was um, a lot of trust was built. And then people opened up about why they weren't taking their medications and then we could better help them. Um, so the shared culture and language together, we found was instrumental in helping both our black and Hispanic members um, kind of get on a better path with taking their medications.